First and foremost, I want to say to you that this is not okay. This, this is not okay. But we're here with another book haul. I did one two weeks ago. Those books aren't included in this, but we have about 40 books here that I need to talk you through that I bought since the last book haul, which was again two weeks ago. But the book haul, I hope you're excited because I certainly am. And I'm also kind of concerned for myself and for my wallet. So let's get into it. I cannot even sit on my bed properly because of the amount of books that are here. Anyways, the first few books that I want to talk about are ones that I already showed in some videos, but I didn't include in a haul and I did buy these recently. So first off, we have the Pumpkin Spice Cafe and the Cinnamon Bun Bookstore, both by Lori Gilmore. I have already read both of these. I am making a reading vlog where I read these. I haven't finished that reading vlog. It was supposed to be this video, but again, I haven't finished a reading vlog because I'm in a huge reading slump. More thoughts will be in that video that will probably, hopefully, come next to this video. Then we have How Does It Feel by Janine O'Reilly. This is a fantasy romance. It's about Faye. I think it's kind of like this girl gets taken hostage by a Faye and this Faye becomes obsessed with her. At least that's what I've heard. I could be completely wrong, but that is what I've heard about this. I'm just so interested in this. And it sounds intriguing and I think it's gonna be like a good time, like a good silly goofy time, you know? You Have a View by Jessica Joyce. I wanted to buy this other book that this author wrote, which was The X-Files. But first and foremost, I want to read this book before I read that book because this is her debut book and I want to read that before that one. Recently, I've heard more positive things. So I think this is gonna be like a fun time. It's about this girl, her grandma dies, I think. Then she connects with this guy on TikTok apparently. That guy is her high school enemy and also the lover of her grandma. That just sounds like such an interesting story and it's a romance between the grandson and the gra granddaughter obviously so I am really intrigued. We have a trilogy because I could not pass up buying this whole trilogy when it was this cheap. So we have Set on You, X's and O's and Catch All by Amy Leah or Amy Lee. These are just like kind of influencer romances. So apparently all of these people are influencers. So the first book is about a fit fitness influencer and she's also plus sized. Love that. Then X's and O's is about a book influencer. And then this one, I am not sure what kind of influencer this is, like a fashion influencer, I guess. I am not entirely sure. But again, it just sounds so interesting. This trilogy, I just think it's gonna be like fun time. I'm gonna see what I think of these and I'm just really excited to start them. Also, this is a different cover than the other books. Look at the size difference. That hurt my soul when it arrives, but we're gonna ignore, we're gonna move past it and we're gonna put these away. Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins. This is the second book in the Hunger Games trilogy. I have read the first book and that is why I bought this book because I wasn't originally planning on reading the book this soon. The Hunger Games, but I did it for a video and I read that book and I was so surprised by how, how much I liked it. I gave it a 4.5 and I needed to continue the series immediately. Guess what? Haven't continued. I am really excited to start this book, but I still need to buy Mockingjay, which I will definitely do, but I don't know when that'll be. Catching Fire, this just continues the story where The Hunger Games left off. I cannot say much about that because obviously it's a connected series and I cannot tell you about this book without giving spoilers. I'm so excited. And then the last book of this little section of books that I already talked about in some videos, we have Blood Mercy by Vela Roth. I haven't seen anyone talk about this book on booktube, but I just saw it in someone's video. They hadn't talked about it, but I thought the covers looked really pretty. So I decided to buy the, buy the first book. It's a thick boy. It's very, very thick. It's, I think, more than 700 pages. It's around 650 pages. So this is going to be an adventure. I am really intrigued by this book because of the fact that no one has really talked about this book. If I like this book, I'm definitely going to be buying the rest of the series as well. So that was Blood Mercy. I do want to mention that the books that I'm showing you now, I think all of them, all of them are secondhand. I bought them all from Vinted. So they were a little cheaper than they normally were. So I did not spend that much money on it. I did spend a lot of money on it, but not as much as I would have if I had bought these completely new. Let's get into it. Did I buy an entire series? Yes. Is this the last entire series on my TBR in the book haul? No, it's not. I have more series that I need to talk you through. So this is, I don't know what this, Hollow Boys. Okay, this series is called The Hollow Boys. Basically kind of like a mix up of 
Devil's Night kind of of a more darker romance because Devil's Night that series is like a little less crimey and a little more just bad boys I guess I don't know how to explain that correctly this series is about criminals so that's gonna be interesting these are all romances with again criminal main characters so I love that morally gray so the first book in that series is the lies we steal then we have The Truths We Burn, which is book two. The Blood We Crave, book three. The Blood We Crave, part two. And lastly, we have The Oath We Give, and this is book five. I've heard really, really great things about this series, and they aren't too long either. Like, when with the Devil's Night series, those books are getting longer and longer the further you get into the series. I still need to read Nightfall, but this series is a little easier to read because of the fact that the books are not above 500 pages. But that was that series. Okay, we're gonna talk about this series now. I bought the entirety of the Vampire Academy series. Oh my god, again, secondhand. So they were only 20 euros for all of them. If you watched my previous book haul, you may remember that I already had and bought Vampire Academy in that video. This came as a set. This came as a bundle. So I'm gonna keep this cover. I don't know what I'll do with the other cover because I don't feel the need to own two covers of the same books. I think I'll just sell that cover maybe, which is really not okay because I just bought it, but I'm so sorry, but I need to sell that because this is just a better deal. But anyways, that's this series. This is basically about this Vampire Academy, obviously. It's about this girl, she is a bodyguard. She's training to be a bodyguard for her best friend who is a princess, I think. And there's also like a little romance going on. It's just a lot of drama. So the first book is Vampire Academy. The second one is Frostbites. Third, Shadow Kiss. The fourth is Blood Promise. These books get thicker the further you get into the series, like, oh my god. The fifth one is Spirit Bound. And the sixth one is Last Sacrifice all by Ra Rochelle Mead. I am very happy with the series. I am really excited to display them on my shelves and I just think it sounds like a really really good time that I'm really gonna enjoy, like a cliche time, you know, but an addicting time that you cannot put down. And yes, it may be very reckless of me to buy the whole series, but again, we're not here to be responsible. We're here to be irresponsible. Oh <gasps> no, I damaged it. You stupid bitch. You stupid bitch. This series is big. Okay, so it's the Shadowhunters Mortal Instruments series. Here we go. Look, the covers are shiny. So, so we have all the books in the Mortal Instruments series. I did already own City of Bones, but again, it came in like this bundle. So I just decided to buy City of Bones as well. And I will like resell my other copy of City of Bones. I did buy the Infertile Devices as well because I want to move into the whole Cassandra Clare universe. And I don't want to do that when I don't own all of the books in that universe and that I cannot read them, re read them in order. Just an honorable mention for those books. The series that we have right now is City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire. The way that I'm gonna read these, I'm gonna start with City of Bones, then I'm gonna move on to City of Ashes, the second book in the series. Then, or after the third one, I'm gonna start with The Infernal Devices or another series, I don't know. It's kind of complicated, but I'm really excited to do that because I just, I just want to get into this really fun universe, you know? I have heard such positive things that I'm confident in me buying all of these books and that I'm gonna like them. Do we have another series? Yes, we do. Love Light Farms, Mixed Signals, and In the Weeds by BK, Bor B BK Borison. The thing here is, I don't know what order these go in, by the way. But I have already read Love Light Farms. I, I think last Christmas, last Christmas, I gave you my heart. But the very next day, you gave it away. Anyways, I read this book then, but I didn't own a physical copy. And I wasn't planning on buying a physical copy because I liked this just fine. It was like a three-star read, but of like a high three-star. But then I saw that someone was selling them on Vinted for really, really cheap. I got all three of these books. For six euros they are in pristine condition again this is a different cover as you can see it's a little higher than the other ones and it's not by the same publishing house it's by berkeley instead of pen I, I don't know what publishing house that is i don't mind it at all because they were so cheap i'm like okay that's completely fine i don't care but basically this is a christmas romance so a winter romance i think this one may be a spring romance is there a bookmark in here 
Oh yeah, there's a bookmarking here. I guess she stopped in the middle of, of the book. Okay. I think this is a spring romance or I don't know. Is this a summer romance? And then this one is a spring romance or something? Or like an autumn romance? And then the last book I don't own, which is Business Casual, but that is another season ro seasonal romance. These books all go through different seasons and I think that's so fucking interesting. Basically, I am really excited to read these. I have already read this. I will not be rereading it, but I will read the rest of the series, obviously. We have one less series, okay? One less series, then it's over. We have this series. This is, these are two books in the series. There will be a third one, but that hasn't come out yet, so I haven't bought it, obviously. So we have A Kiss of Iron and A Touch of Poison by Claire Sagar. These are thick. Oh my god, and they are so heavy, so they're kind of uh, straining my arms. These are just fancy romances, again. I haven't actually heard anyone talk about this, but I saw a review on Goodreads that really interested me, and they rated the books very highly, so I got really interested in it. And again, buy from second hand. So for both of these books, it was 14 euros, and that is not expensive at all, because if you bought this one new, it would have been 19 euros. So I think this is a steal. Honestly, it's a steal. So I'm very happy that I got these. Okay, that was the last series, I think, that I had. So now we move on to some other books. Most of these are also series, but I only bought the first one in the series. So the first one that I want to talk about is Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings. So I got this for really cheap. I should have fucking known. I should have known, but I didn't. So I bought this for really cheap. And I was like, okay, this is really cheap, but is the spine in, in right condition? Is, it, is the spine not broken? So I went to the chat of an unvented. I went to ask ask the seller like, "Hey, is the spine in good condition?" I asked, "Was it in good? Is it in good condition?" And with good condition, I obviously mean that the spine is not broken. They said, "Yes, it is." So I'm like, "Okay, yay! Five euros for a book. That's really cheap. I'm very happy that I got to buy it with that money." So I bought it. It arrived. Can you see that? I don't think you can see it. You can see a little bit. But the spine is completely messed up. If she had just mentioned there was a crack in the spine, I wouldn't have bought it, but she didn't. So I got very mad at that. But I'm still happy with the purchase anyways. I did already buy this on my e reader I bought it like a year ago, maybe even more than a year ago. And I haven't read it. But I feel like this is motivation for me to read the book. This is like a Gossip Girl-like-esque romance. And if you know anything, Gossip Girl toxic as hell this book toxic as hell so i'm scared i'm also intrigued i'm interested i just wanted to get into the series and see if i liked it and a friend of mine has really really enjoyed this book and has already read daisy hates the first book and she also really enjoyed that so that made me extra interested in that series oh my god i'm so excited about this book so i bought this i bought this for 17 euros and 50 cents okay that's kind of expensive for one book to be honest especially when it's second hand but this book is out of print. It's out of print and I bought it and it's really popular. <laughs> it's Quicksilver by Callie Hart. So I got the out of print pretty version of the book. This book resells on Vinted for like 50 euros. So for me to find it for that cheap, I was surprised to say the least. I was like, is this a scam? Is the spine going to be cracked? Is there going to be any damages? But no, it was in pristine condition. Condition. It still is in pristine condition. It's such a pretty edition as well. I've recently heard some more negative things about it, but it doesn't stop me from reading it. It's apparently a little bit confusing, but I've also heard the best things about it, so I'm so excited! Death's Obsession by Avina St. Graves. This is like a short little novella. I wanted to read this during Halloween, but I didn't end up reading during Halloween. But this is basically a romance between Death and this girl who... I think it's suicidal. <laughs> so I have heard that it's a very crazy book, a very weird book. So I am going into it thinking and knowing that it's going to be kind of like a crazier, weirder book. And I also own another book by this author, which is Skin of a Sinner. I uh, unboxed that in my pre previous book haul. It sounds like such, a, such an interesting story and it's smutty, which I'm always here for. I bought another dark romance, which is Promises and Pomegranates by uh, Sav R. Miller. It hasn't gotten the best reviews and ratings on Goodreads, but I know that I shouldn't always look at the ratings on Goodreads because a lot of the people that read this book or read these kind of books 
don't like dark romance but they still read it and then they don't enjoy it because they are not into dark romance me personally i love a dark romance so i am going into this with very high hopes and i am interested why it's called promises and pomegranates because what has pomegranates have to do with this subject i'm interested to find out all i know is that it's a dark romance is it mafia it's an enemy, enemies to lovers as well. I don't know if it's mafia, but it's enemies to lovers, so I'm here for that always. My favorite trope of all time, enemies to lovers. I want to talk about this book because I got this for free. This person that I bought from, she added the book that I bought separately in the same package as another book. So she was like, it wouldn't go right with Vinted if I don't send you something in that package and I don't want to open the package again. So do you want a free book? You can pick out any free book from my little account, you know, from my page and i'll just add that to the package and i was like sign me up so i chose fangirl down by tessa bailey i have been looking at this a lot in the bookstores and i have been hesitating to buy this i just didn't end up buying it because i was interested but i've heard bad things and i do enjoy tessa bailey it's a golf romance and i know a lot of people don't love a golf romance and there's also like touch her and i'll kill you vibes going on in this and they're like you're a golfer you're a golfer why why touch her and I'll kill you vibes. Um, I just think it sounds like a good time. I just think it sounds like something that I would enjoy. And I have enjoyed every single Tessa Bailey book that I have read. I think I'm gonna really enjoy this. So I am just excited for it. This is also a series. Uh, the second book is The Au Pair Affair. And I'm really interested in that one as well. So if I enjoyed this one, I will definitely buy that one as well. Because that's a hockey romance. Again, this is golf romance. I personally really love golf romance as well. Because I've read one by uh it was an arc by grace pierce if you haven't read that book perfect praise by grace pierce that is that book was so fucking good i gave it four stars it was such a good book and she's so underrated and this one is a go for as well so i feel like i'm gonna really enjoy this we have strung along by hannah cowan this book would have been i think 20 euros if i had bought it new and now i think i paid like six euros five euros for it and it's also completely new i don't feel like this book hasn't been read at all because the spine is completely flat but this is a cowboy romance and i need more cowboy romances in my life i have read a few of them the lc silver universe you know i have read that i have also read the done and dusted that universe but i don't think i've read more than that so i need to get into more cowboy romances and i've also heard really positive things about this author i do follow this author on instagram now and i just like her humor and stuff so i'm just really intrigued okay we have already arrived at the last book so the last book is dust storm by maggie gates this is also a cowboy romance i just said that i need to get into more cowboy romances well here we have it one and two cowboy romances i have no clue what this is about but i think it's gonna give done and dusted vibes or swift and saddled i hope it's gonna give those vibes because i'm really it, looking for that kind of feeling that those books gave me but those kind of cowboy romances i love what is this about oh my god it's gonna be about a gentleman rule number one you ride in my truck you let me open the door and then the female main character's rule is if you're going to kill someone make it look like an accident at the funeral cry at the funeral admit to nothing and deny everything excuse me what is this gonna be about is it gonna be dark no no way okay so this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting to say the least i think it's small town guy and then big city girl you know love that vibe so i would pick up all the books that i have in front of me right now but i don't think i could there are a lot of books here and i did want to mention another book that i did buy but it has been sent back to the seller because shipping went wrong shipping went wrong and i'm so mad about that because it was the ritual by Chantal tashir and i am so excited about that book i really really want to read that that's another dark romance but it has been sent back to the seller but i will buy it again when it has arrived to the seller again so i will buy it again i will get it again but that will have to wait so that was an honorable mention again let me count how many books i have right here so in front of me i have 38 books but with the Infernal Devices series, that is 41. And with the Ritual, 42. So 42 books that I have bought in the last two weeks. I do want to say that is not okay. I have already said it. That is not okay. Don't do what I did because my physical TBR was already large enough. It was already big enough, but I bought more because I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. Because, and my mom is kind of putting me on a book buying bed now. 
so and i also need to buy a new bookshelf because it's getting it's getting out of hand okay but i do hope you enjoyed this book haul i hope you enjoyed this video overall if you like this video if you want to see more of me subscribe and of course like this video if you liked it and i hope i'll see you next time Bye bye